I've I've uh, I've encountered that uh, there are uh, two uh, churches uh, that have come to us from South America, growing in in North America, the Unio de Vegetal Church and the Santo Daime, and I as I as I as I said earlier, I think that those two uh, churches are the fastest growing churches in America. And it's a huge and I think very important and rather wonderful social movement. Um, but I have encountered, uh, here, here's an example. Um, uh, I was very close to being able to do a, a, a very simple study with members of the UDV church in the Seattle area who had uh, abstained from tea drinking because of, they were awaiting for the Supreme Court decision um, to um, a allow them legally to do this as a, as a religious sacrament. And so they, there was a period of time where the church members, there was about 20 of them, had abstained. So we wanted to do a before versus after study to look at safety. So uh, the plan was to do a complete blood count, uh, liver function tests, kidney function tests, a physical exam, you know, blood pressure and so forth, and just look at safety. And uh, we, uh, I, I encountered great resistance from the leadership of the UDV church, not in Seattle, but uh, nationally, because of the idea, which I don't disagree with, um, but the idea that the plant is sacred and cannot be uh, viewed scientifically. And um, I, I don't think that's the correct way. I think um, science is as valuable a way to truth as spiritual practices, capital T truth. Um, yeah, I mean, I would have to agree. I mean, that you can't believe, yeah, yeah. And I respected that, you know, and, and, and so I backed off. And uh, it's just sad that we, you know, here we are, I, you know, my, I discovered for myself, ayahuasca in 1999, here we are eight years later, and I still haven't done a study. And, and it's not for lack of wanting, um, or even the lack of um, infrastructure and ability to do it. I, I've run IRB approved clinical trials of botanicals, and you know all the pieces are sort of in place, but there's this, this impediment, um, and maybe it's just my own uh, my own uh, need to have institutional uh, uh, support for this, and, and, and maybe the way to go about this is just to do our own research with our own foundations and, and not um, depend on the national, uh, the national governmental funding. And I was shocked um, when you and I and Dennis McKenna were on a phone conversation with the director of the botanicals program for the National Institute of Drug Abuse when we were talking to him about our idea about doing a very simple uh, human physiology study of ayahuasca with, with healthy humans, and he had never heard of ayahuasca. And this is the director of NIDA's program. It just floored me. So there's great ignorance on the part of the government, and, and I don't think uh, that unless you've experienced these medicines, you don't understand how critically important they are. And until you've experienced them, it, to, I can remember thinking that uh, shamanism was this quaint, antiquated thing of the past, and now to me, it's the most, you know, the most important part of medicine. And I've really changed my mind about that.